bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Mother's Day is a time when women celebrate the bond they have with their children. Tonight, we highlight a mother and daughter with a bond so strong that they already share the same hobbies and areas of interest. Natalia Hall has this special feature. Long, longer, and longer. Then Lonnie said, Come on, guys, and we'll look inside the mirror. It's a mother daughter duo. Vanessa Clark and her daughter, Viaja Clark, are both authors. Vanessa said her book was written while she was experiencing some challenges while getting closer to God, and she wanted to share her testimony with others. A short time later, she found out that her daughter had the same gift. Asha has shown that. She is not only a brilliant child, she is also a gifted child. I think some of the gifts she got from me and the smarts she got from me and daddy, I'll put daddy in there for, um, for this sake, but I, um, I'm just so elated that uh, the gift that was passed on to us, because my grandmother, she's also an author as well, I'm so glad that the gift that she passed on to me was passed down to Viage, and so sh she's still alive and she can see the legacy that she left behind in me and Viage. Clark says mothers have to be there for their children and is sharing this message for Mother's Day. This child is looking up to me to provide everything that she needs in this life. She's looking to me to, to train her, to teach her, to nurture her, and most importantly, to love her. And so it's important for mothers to be there. Don't worry about what the fathers can do. You're the mother, she came from you. You, you, know, you know how she got here. And so it's important for us to be there for our children and to have their back and to support them and to push them into their dreams. Little Viaja says she knew that she wanted to be just like her mom. I made a fake book at first. And then my mom saw it. And she said, you can do a book for real. And I did it when I was only seven years old. She is a best author and a best mom in the whole wide world. The books, ready for repositioning by Vanessa Clark, is now available on Amazon, and Viage's book, The Cats and the Mats, will be available soon. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I'm Natalia Hall. If you're interested in the performing arts or would like to know more about the industry, you can find out more information during a performing arts symposium on Friday, May 13th at the Kevin Tomlinson Center on East Sunrise Highway at 7.30 p.m. Coordinator Shauna Joseph says she has a passion to see the industry develop in the Bahamas. There may be people like me who love to write and love to act but really don't know how to go and, and push it how to get out there and so I want to give that type of information to aspiring actors or even people who act a little bit but want to do more come you don't have to be an actor right now or even a writer right now but if you're interested you can come because you never know something one of the speakers say may spark something in you and you be like wait I was thinking about that so it's for everybody she says the one night session will be informative and very exciting. We're going to have Gia Pierre, one of the playwrights here on Grand Bahama, who's doing a marvelous job. So she'll be talking about from the mind to the page to the stage, how to get it done. And then we'll have Patrice Johnson and Wilbert Stubbs. And everybody know when there's a production with those two in it, you're going to have a good time. So they'll be talking about the acting aspect, how they got into it and how they're still in the game. And then from the television side of things, we're going to have Eric Russell from Key and I Media talking about what they look for in actors for television commercials and, you know, from that side. So it's going to be a great night of information and it's free. And now it's time to ask the doctor. Hi and welcome. Rita emailed a few more questions regarding lab studies. She asked, how long will it take for my doctor to get a copy of my lab results? Will I get a copy also? And what do all these results mean? For a blood test, one or two methods may be used. Your finger may be pricked by a lancet, which is a small needle for a small amount of blood. Or more commonly, blood from the vein on the inside of your arm is obtained by inserting a small needle. Blood flows from the vein through the needle and is collected in a syringe or blood tube. For other specimens, 
such as urine, stool, or semen that can be collected at your home, you will be instructed by your lab technician on how to collect them. Most laboratory test results can be provided in a few hours or within one to two days. However, there are some that can take up to several days. A lab personnel will usually inform your doctor on the status of your test results and he or she will be given an estimated time that they will be ready. Once completed, you may request a copy of your lab results from your doctor or the medical records department at the hospital. Test results can sometimes be abnormal for many reasons, so please discuss them with your doctor. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. The Urban Renewal Program taking its pre-Mother's Day celebrations to the West today. Mothers from throughout the district coming together for a time of reflection at the Harbor West Shopping Center. Joan Davis Roll was there. Shining a light of mothers in West Grand Bahama, this ahead of the grand celebration of Mother's Day. The mothers from the West representing the best, the best of motherhood among our precious pearls. The Urban Renewal Pre Mother's Day event giving mothers from Hebron Town to West End an opportunity to strut their stuff as they dressed their best. It is these mothers who, through blood, sweat, and tears, have not only raised their children but helped to build this nation. Guest speaker for the occasion was Pastor of Universal Household of Faith, Apostle Ricardo Grant. Today, you know, as we celebrate with these senior mothers, we are employing them to continue to do what they do by way of teaching now. Because it says let the older teach the younger and ensure them how they did it in time past with less. They got more done with less. And so today, if they can uh, hang on those, uh, what we call, uh, counsel and those instructions and show and show them how to step into that i'm guaranteeing you we will continue to see a nation that will thrive and go to the next level she may be the mother of three sons which she bore but truth be told deputy director of urban renewal on grand bahama michelle rankley has for years become an adopted mother to many it is a role that she takes very seriously and one she encouraged mothers everywhere to cherish Thursday, Sunday morning, God's willing, make sure you get up, enjoy your day. Yeah. Do not allow nothing and no one. You know, sometimes we complain because we don't have this and we don't have that. But as long as God makes us up in your mind, and we have the faculty of our living, we can move around, that's enough to be grateful for. These mothers are no doubt sending up an extra prayer for Herbert Renewal this Mother's Day. As they were treated like queens for a day. Thank God for being here. And you're doing a good job. And happy Mother's Day to you. It's beautiful. I wish I could have been with my mother, but I can't make it. She's an Andros. She's in my Grove Key. And she is 100 years old. And I thank God for her every day. It's good. It's nice. I enjoy it. Really enjoy it. Yeah. Next time, as I say, I'll be in it next time. Nobody can take the place of And with that, we too say Happy Mother's Day. John Davis Roll, ZNS Network News. Don't go away, sports is up next with Ricardo Lightborn.